Hey guys, it's Brax Tech again. Um, I had a few more people reach out to me and asked if I can go over the Legion Spectrum software, the RGB control, which is replacing um, IQ from last year's models, which has been plagued with issues, mostly with um, battery drain, as well as some inconsistencies in the uh, presets and profile creation. So um, this is built directly into Vantage, um, as in it's not a st like standalone program. Um, it's built straight into the already existing Lenovo Vantage application. Um, and you use it in a very similar fashion. So function and spacebar cycles through the six profiles, which you can see on screen. It'll show you, um, which is new actually, before it would be hit or miss if the hotkeys app would actually show you what profile you're on. Um, the six default applic uh, excuse me, six default profiles are basically the same um, as the existing ones, except they're just built in a new application. Um, Ripple, I have to turn off that later. Um, then there's Rain, which I believe is actually a newer one. I don't know if that existed on the current Gen 6 models. Uh, audio bounce lighting, so that is reactive. Audio ripple lighting, also reactive based off of the audio coming from your device. Um, and then the default rainbow. Each of these profiles you can actually customize to be whatever you want. So I'm gonna actually go to the sixth profile here. You can select individual keys if you want um, to use specific colors, or you can drag and select all of them. Uh, and you can choose from these effects listed here, screw rainbow, rainbow wave, and then you could actually change the speed and direction here too, which is pretty nifty. Um, you could do right to left, top to bottom, and so on. Uh, color change, you can use a custom color for it to change between two or more. So you can actually add, like let's say blue and red, and it'll shift between those two colors and you can increase the speed. Um, color pulse, which I believe would be very similar um, RGB effect, and the list goes on. There's plenty of them, but they all seem pretty, uh, pretty instantaneous in terms of how they're applied. And then if you do apply it to that profile, that's what's going to, um, that's what's going to take over the profile that, or the RGB effects that were there before. So, let's say you wanted profile six to be uh, smooth. And then you have random colors there. I'm going to bump up the speed to three and click apply. So now profile six is always going to be set to that custom one. Let's try a different one here. Let's try, um, let's try always, which I guess is a static color, um, which for me is one of the things that I've always wanted is to just set a static white keyboard background. Um, especially like at 50% brightness, um, but IQ made it really difficult to maintain battery life and have something like this. So it's nice that Spectrum is replacing that and we have a little bit, a little bit easier of a time customizing the RGB effects um, without a pe penalty on battery life. Um, I would say it's not as robust as IQ. Um, Corsair is very good in terms of custom customization and what you can do. Um, but I think most people will be satisfied with being able to select per key RGB and per key effects. Um, so overall, I would say this is um, a pretty nifty program. I'm sad that it's built into Vantage, so we can't try to like inject this in older hardware, but maybe we'll see Lenovo um, retroactively implement this to our current devices if it's not hardware restricted, um, but who, who knows for sure. Uh, but for the upcoming 2022 devices, I think you guys will be pleasantly, um, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised and happy with the changes that Lenovo has made.